Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 catchiest cartoon theme songs. D -d -d Danger! Watch behind you. For this list, we'll be looking at the most awesome and most memorable cartoon intros that always get stuck in our heads. Let us know which theme song gets stuck in your head by the end of this video. Number 20. The Gravity Falls theme song, Gravity Falls. Here's a theme song that doesn't need lyrics to be ridiculously catchy. In fact, it's probably even better without. The whistling makes for both a cheery and eerie sort of vibe, which honestly is pretty much the show's entire essence. But don't take our word for it, Gravity Falls actually won a Pan American Association of Film and Television Journalist Award for Best Main Title Theme Music in 2013. So it's a pretty unanimous claim to say that this tune is wonderful. <laughs> Or should we say, waddleful? Not one laugh, huh? Well, Mabel would have liked our pun. File these documents under I, for I have a curly tail! Number 19, Hi Hi. Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yomi. You're one of the OGs if you remember Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yomi. <laughs> Just in case you don't, it was a cartoon starring the fictionalized and animated versions of Japanese pop rock duo Puffy Ami Yummy. If you're thinking something about this theme sounds really familiar, that's probably because the duo is responsible for the Teen Titans theme song. Both are awesome, but this one is definitely the headbanger of all headbangers, which you know is pretty on brand for Puffy Ami Yummy. Do we smash the electric guitar now or at the end of the episode? Number 18. It's My World and we're all living in it. Milo Murphy's Law. This show is made by the creators of Phineas and Ferb. And if the number of absolute bops in that series is anything to go by, Milo Murphy's Law was just bound to have a stellar theme. And does it ever. Look at that sun, look at that sky, look at my sweater vest, it looks so fly. Sung by Weird Al, who also voices Milo, this song is a total delight. The lyrics and tune perfectly exemplify all of Milo's unwavering optimism in the face of his Murphy's Law. Plus, Milo's right when he says we're all just living in his world. Murphy's Law states that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And yep, that sounds pretty accurate, doesn't it? Never boring, even for a minute. It's my world and we're all living in it. Number 17, Johnny Test. Theme song 2, Johnny Test. Listen, there's nothing inherently wrong with Johnny Test's intro from the first season. It's all right. It's fine, even. <laughs> But there's a reason they changed it. That's all we're saying. From the second season on, the theme is straight fire. The theme free dad at home is super busy mom. Johnny but the boy's best friend is a talking dog. They took everything that was great from the first one and made it even better. If you rocked out to this intro as a kid, we're willing to bet you're also a fan of Green Day. The tune is super reminiscent of American Idiot, and we can't say we're mad about it. But Green Day doesn't have a talking dog, do they? Number 16. The Jetsons theme song. The Jetsons. Even if you didn't watch this show when it first aired in the 60s and then again in the 80s, there's a good chance you're familiar with it. Meet George Jetson. <laughs> there are no fancy bells and whistles. Here's a title sequence that gets straight to the point. They introduce the nuclear space family, the Jetsons, and in less than a minute, we learn everything we need to know. <laughs> We 
We do have one note, if you'll hear us out. Rosie isn't in the intro, and we feel like she should be. She totally stole the show. <laughs> but of course, very <laughs> H-O-M-E-L-Y. I may be homely, Buster, but I'm S-M-A-R-T smart. <laughs> Number 15. I'm from another dimension. Star versus the forces of evil. Here's an opening that's just as chaotic as its main character. The lyrics tell us pretty much everything we need to know about the show, and it definitely follows through with its promise. It does get a little weird and a little wild, and you know what? We do have a good time. The composer of the song, Brad Breek, is actually the same person who created the Gravity Falls theme song, which explains a lot considering how great they both are. Star vs. The Forces of Evil has some awesome end credit songs too, with the one that plays at the end of season 1 deserving a special mention. Number 14. The Teen Titans theme song. Teen Titans. <laughs> I didn't think we'd mention the Teen Titans theme in an earlier entry and then not follow through, did you? The beginning is a little reminiscent of the Batman theme, and it definitely has a comic book hero feel to it, which is super cool. English and Japanese versions of the song were often used interchangeably depending on the subject matter of the episode, and if you don't understand Japanese, no worries, the Titans themselves actually provide a word-for-word -word translation for us at the end of Trouble in Tokyo. How the cast got all the way through it without laughing is beyond us. Number 13. Literally every TMNT theme song. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles on. One, two, three, four, turtles. Chain reaction. We always appreciate a good roll call. In essence, the TMNT themes all share the same classic melody, but each show definitely puts its own unique spin on it. The 80s version is, in one word, groovy. The early 2000s give us the hype song of a lifetime. 2012 put an awesome hip-hop spin on the classic, and Rise gave us a tune just as fun and action-packed as its series. Each opening has its own distinct charm while still feeling very authentic to the heart of TMNT. Not to mention, they all get stuck in your head way too easily. What's your favourite TMNT title song? Let us know in the comments. Number 12. 16 theme song. 16. If you're a fan of Total Drama and you haven't seen 16, you're totally missing out. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. They're both created by the same people, Jennifer Perch and Tom McGillis. And the shows actually share a few of the same voice actors. 16 has to be the cartoon equivalent of Friends, and not just because of the similar premises. 16's theme is an absolute banger for one, and it's also such a feel-good song. I'm 16, starting to find my way, got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. It takes us back to a time of flip phones and hanging out with your friends after school, when all was right in the world. If nothing else, 16 tells us to make the good times last, and that's definitely a message we can get behind. 16, 16. 
Gotta make the good times last. Number 11. The Loud House theme song. The Loud House. We're willing to bet it's impossible to listen to this without nodding your head or tapping your foot. This guy's gotta do what he can to survive. In the loud house, in the loud house. Duck, duck, push and shove, this how we show our love. You're doing it right now, aren't you? As far as title sequences go, this one's an absolute party, which is pretty fitting considering the Loud House alone probably has enough members for one. One boy and ten girls. Born and traded for the world. If you haven't heard the extended version of the song, you need to get on that. It feels like a 2000s rock anthem, and definitely one we listen to even outside the series intro. It's just so darn catchy. We're never lacking for a sports team, maybe this crazy's not that bad. Number 10. I Wanna Be Famous. Total Drama. Ask me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. We've all been there. Whether you had dreams of becoming a rock star as a kid or you're still trying to get TikTok famous today, we've all wanted to be famous at one point or another. Total Drama gets it. Not only is their theme a serious bop, it also totally encapsulates our dreams of being in the limelight. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. As a general rule of thumb, if there are some na na na's in your song, it's probably going to be great and I Wanna Be Famous is certainly no exception. We bet you're singing it right now. Number 9. DuckTales theme song. DuckTales. Life is like a Whether you grew up with the 80s DuckTales or recently became a fan of the reboot, this theme is iconic. The classic version is super catchy given its brassiness and overall old-timey sound. Tales of daring, new bad and good DuckTales. Not only tales or captain tales, no DuckTales. Meanwhile, the 2017 iteration definitely has more energy to it and feels a lot more fitting for modern times, while still managing to keep that nostalgic feel to it. It's a duck bird, might solve the mystery, hurry right history. Both songs have this sort of lively quality to them that we just can't get enough of. There's just something about those opening chords that puts us in the adventuring mood. Woo! Number 8. Meet the Flintstones. The Flintstones. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. They're the modern Stone family. This show makes up what so many of us miss about being a kid. Early morning cartoons and all the sugary cereals money can buy. Even if you didn't grow up watching the Flintstones, there's a good chance you still know the theme song. It's just one of those pop culture staples. When you're with the Flintstones, have a yabba dabba do time. Although the Flintstones only ran for six seasons in the 60s, primetime specials were airing all the way into the 80s and probably beyond that. This made for multiple decades of generational love and a whole lot of singing along. Come on, say it with us, you know you want to. Never, never do. Number 7. Gotta Catch Em All, Pokemon. I wanna be the very best. Here's yet another Saturday morning cartoon, though we don't have to miss this one so much because new episodes of Pokemon are still airing today. Listen, catching them all is a pretty overwhelming task, so no wonder Ash and the gang have been doing it since 1997. Not only does this song bring back nostalgia from the good old days, it's also just an objectively good tune. It's inspiring and upbeat, and everything we want from a cartoon's intro music. The proof is just in how recognizable and how beloved it is. Nothing beats a classic. Number 6. The Ed, Ed and Eddie theme song. Ed, Ed and Eddie. There's just something about jazzy piano and whistling that works so well together. 
The Ed, Ed and Eddie theme is short and sweet and pleasantly simple without lyrics. It doesn't need them. This number is so fun and so chaotic that it just makes you want to get up and swing dance for the duration of it. <laughs> In fact, wish sure you're tapping your toes and grooving in your seat right now. With hilarious animation and a fun roll call at the end, this masterfully concocted piece is one we never skip. Uh, hey, hey. Number 5. Today is gonna be a great day. Phineas and Ferb. There's 104 days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Bowling for soup? Um, yes please. Phineas might just be the most optimistic cartoon character out there, and his theme song is certainly reflective of his positive attitude. Here's a life hack. If you're having a bad day, just listen to this song. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. The extended version is even better because it just means that there's even more of it to listen to. Bowling for Soup totally knocks it out of the park, but then again, we can't say we're surprised. Their stuff is nearly as awesome as Phineas and Ferb's inventions. Jump in and seize the day. And let's make sure that in every single possible way be a great day okay we're gonna go listen to 1985 now number four the spongebob squarepants theme song spongebob squarepants are you ready kids aye aye captain i can't hear you aye aye captain if you didn't say aye aye captain you can go ahead and click off this video now for everyone else who did, you know that this theme requires no explanation. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! in yellow and porous is he? Not only is it insanely catchy, it also holds a lot of nostalgia for so many people. It's no wonder there are so many SpongeBob memes. The humor is in a league of its own, which makes it super enjoyable for kids and adults alike. SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> Though we probably relate more to Squidward today than we did when we were kids. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. What a baby. Number three, the Danny Phantom theme song. Danny Phantom. <sighs> He's a phantom. We gotta give props to the Danny Phantom opening for managing to give us all the information we need to know packaged in one exceptionally entertaining number. Didn't quite work, his folks, they just quit. But then Danny took a look inside of it. There was a great big flash of things just changed. His molecules got all rearranged. The bass coupled with the rapt verses and the little intermittent whispering at the end, mwah. Chef's kiss. It creates a little bit of a spooky atmosphere, which is totally fitting for a show about a kid who can turn into a ghost, but it's also just so undeniably cool. It's overall just a fantastic theme. Or should we say, Fenton Stick. You know, like Danny Fenton? Yeah, you get it. Number two, the Scooby Doo theme song. Scooby Doo. Okay, we love the classic theme. It's timeless, and it's everything we want from a mystery cartoon with a talking dog. But can we just talk about what's new Scooby Doo for a second? That song really had no business being that good. is played by Simple Plan, which explains things. Seriously, it's always the rock bands that just keep on dropping bangers for cartoon titles. Either way, Scooby-Doo's theme is always great and has been super nostalgic for all generations since the late 60s. We're glad to see the mystery gang still sleuthing it today. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Call Me, Beep Me, Kim Possible How many of you remember every single word? I'm your basic average girl and I'm here to save the world. You can't stop me cause I'm Kim Possible. 
possible. While Kim Possible didn't run as long as some of the other shows on our list, its theme is super addictive. Call her, beep her, if you want to reach her, sung by Christina Milian. This bop had us jamming out in our living room floors in the early 2000s. Hoping we could just be as cool as KP one day. Another iconic soundbite from this series was the communicator's text tone, which can also be heard in the intro sequence. It's just such a staple to the show and so reminiscent of the era of flip phones. TTYL BFF. So what's the sitch? Call me, beep me if you wanna reach me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.